They look like ordinary windows, but they're not. Inside them is a continuous flow of a mixture of distilled water and glycol. The windows have been designed by researchers and architects in an effort to imagine the energy-efficient buildings of tomorrow. The technology is being tested at this experimental pavilion, recently built here in Bulgaria's capital, Sofia. Inside each window, there's a constant flow of 70 litres of distilled water and 30 litres of ethylene glycol, which serves as antifreeze. Each transparent panel acts as an individual solar collector. Using solar cells, the windows absorb solar radiation and turn it into thermal energy to heat the building's interior. The advantage of using liquids instead of air inside the glass is that water is more dense, so it absorbs infrared light in a broader range. Scientists at this European research project are using the pavilion to test the system's efficiency. Temperature and humidity are constantly monitored inside the building to see if energy can be produced and used long term or in different climatic conditions. We measure the temperature inside the windows. We measure it every 20 centimeters, starting from the floor and then going up the window. So we know how the heat is distributed inside every window. And then what we have is we measure what we feed in on the window and what is uh, getting out of the window. The technology was developed here in Madrid. Scientists want the water flow smart glazing system to ensure energy efficiency, not to act just as a transparent insulator. So the system must be able to maximize solar heat during the winter and avoid overheating in the summer. If the outside temperature is too cold, we can stop the water flow. The sun heats up the water chamber between the glasses and the windows become hotter. If outside temperature is warm, or if inside the building the temperature is already comfortable, we can turn on the water flow to distribute the energy to other places in the building. Transparent glass acts in active ways. It acts like a skin that allows the whole building to thermoregulate itself. Scientists think the technology could help design the so-called nearly zero energy buildings of the future, as the European Union seeks to dramatically increase the energy efficiency of new building designs. The idea is to have buildings that reduce their energy demands as much as possible, while at the same time producing thermal energy. This is our solution to improve and maximize the net balance of energy that every building needs. Researchers say the system's technology is now ready to be scaled up to industrial production. We can now launch the product on the market. Of course, we have to prove that it also works on bigger buildings besides these prototypes, which are already running successfully. But we do think that it is now worth installing it in full-scale buildings. While waiting for investors to get involved, measurements at the demonstration pavilion in Sofia will continue for the next 10 years.